Any curiosity you may have harbored regarding the menacing metallic press will now be satisfied as you have drawn too close. Your attention is attracted to a decal on the front of the machine. It says the Volhall Moromatic. This rouses your curiosity. Suddenly you note that each and every bone in your body feels as though it has been transformed into molten matter. Never slow to catch on, you notice that you are cooking from the inside out. Now this is a pain that lingers. Okay. Every drop of moisture is purged from your system by the intense heat of the internal barbecue. Your dehydrated composition makes it impossible to continue. Better luck next time. But we need to push the button and run away, right? Maybe. Not near enough. Dang it! Ah, yeah, slow mode definitely. Push button and then run away. Wow, ah! that that was a little too fast. Ha 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 ha! I know you think that's funny. All right, here's what I'm hoping. We know he can't make it through the one uh, force field decontamination area, or whatever that little area is. That area right there. So what I'm hoping is... All right, he's gone. Now we can go back. But is the pod open? I don't know. If it is, we should be able to duck in. If it's not, another plan? We, we need our pulse rifle. Remember the pulse rifle from Space Quest 1? You can just shoot the guy. Maybe we can do a sprinkler system. I don't know. All right, should I go into slow mode just in case? All right, is the door open? It is open. Hot diggity. And go in. The robot has apparently decided it is permissible for you to be here since you are in the pod already. Wow, that was close. Woo, just in time. I know, right? Upon entering the escape pod, you quickly take your seat. There is no visible way of closing the pod doors. Apparently, they're automatic. Oh, okay. So, let's see what we got. You're seated inside of the emergency escape vehicles. Before you lies a control panel and a viewport. Let's look at the control panel. 35 minutes until meltdown. The only outstanding feature on the panel is the clearly marked launch button. Don't understand lunch. That's too bad because it's about time for lunch. I'm hungry. I think we'll have some chicken noodle soup. Homemade, of course. Launch. Warning. Emergency escape vehicle launch sequence has begun. Oh, I forgot to save it. I save it now. Uh, it might be a little too late. When I tried to make chicken noodle soup, the noodles would get soggy, so I gave up. Yeah. Don't really want to overcook them. I think, 
the best way is to cook the chicken first and then cook the noodles and then just throw everything together. Woo, you're going to have to stop cutting those escapes so close, Book Daddy. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, well, you must feel pretty good right now. You stopped Volhall from carrying out his threats of salesman infestation, ultimately destroying the twisted scientist himself. You also managed to save your own skin. And just look at that score. Pretty darn impressive. Hello? Suddenly, a warning signal draws your attention to the oxygen meter on the front panel. It reads, low and dropping fast. Put on mask. This is just great. You knew it was all too good to be true. You have maybe five minutes of air left. Well, Book Day, nice knowing you. Thanks. Put on mask. Good idea. Unfortunately, as you begin to put it on, you notice that the tank is empty. Sorry. Dang it. Now you take the time to view the interior of the pod in more detail. You see a sleep chamber against one wall. Ah. Get closer. You turn back the plexiglass cover. Okay. You make the split second decision to enter the sleep chamber. It seals automatically. Soon you're overcome by a pleasant drowsiness. This is certainly better than suffocating. You begin to drift away into a deep sleep with the satisfaction of having accomplished your task. You've come through in the clutch and you deserve a nice long rest. Now if someone would just pick you up somewhere along the way. So long Book Daddy and thanks again for saving your people. Thanks for playing Space Quest 2. Yay the end. Thanks everybody for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, share with all your friends, and as always, we'll see you next time.